Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create spawn points uh, Talk a little about spawn points I'm also gonna show you how to make a bite zone and how to deactivate it uh, after a certain amount of time It is a default time before it is deactivated, but if you want to deactivate it before I don't think you can have it longer than it's supposed to be though um, no, I Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create spawn points, also you're gonna talk a little about spawn points. Uh, I'm also gonna show you how to make a buy zone, and how to change what weapons you are equipped with when you st uh, are spawned. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is create spawn points. So to create spawn points we go to the entity tool, and we just click anywhere on the map. If you see an error, uh, thing here if it says error with big red letters then check in the description for another video and how to fix that because there is a problem now with hammer editor you need to fix the terrorist model yourself okay so and as you can see as soon as I clicked with this entity tool a terrorist was spawned this is because if you go to tools and go options you can see here at default point entity class it's info player terrorist if I were to change this to counter terrorist uh, the first thing that I have happen if I click, okay, it didn't save, I guess. Okay, I don't know why it didn't change. I think I need to restart or something. This hammer editor isn't that good yet. But yeah, that uh, doesn't matter. So as soon as we click, we create a terrorist. And if you want to create a city spawn, you just cl simply click another time and change this just by scrolling up to info player counter terrorist press apply and there you go we got a counter terrorist now and as you can see as soon as we make a spawn point uh, you can see that they are off the ground a bit they are not on the ground because if they touch the ground they cannot spawn if they touch a wall if they touch anything they cannot spawn uh, the spawn point will get deleted by itself and you won't have a spawn for your players so make sure that they do not touch anything. Also, there needs to be a distance between them. Um, I don't know what distance exactly, but don't place them too close to each other. That is my suggestion. Also, if you were to like, let's say, let's say with this one, if we were to move him up here, he will still spawn on the ground, which I'm going to show you later on. Okay, so let's set these players up. I'm gonna put them. Kind of next to each other. I also gonna rotate this terrorist by. Now I'm gonna rotate. Uh... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna place the terrorist up in the air instead of me. And have the CT on the ground. I also gonna rotate with him by simply clicking in this box from above. Clicking it. And then you can see the circles. Click on a circle and drag it, or click and hold. But as you see, when I moved him down, he gets to the ground. So he, this is not a functional spawn at the moment. So we're gonna go up here and click on the minus to make a smaller grid. And now we can move him one block up in the air. So yeah, there we go. We now have functioning spawns. Let's move this. Terrorist a bit. He's quite close, isn't he? Okay. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is create a spawn po uh, bison. And uh, to create a bison, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here and you're gonna search for trigger. And you're gonna take the trigger texture and make a box where you want the bison to be. So just create, it doesn't have to be small, even if you like, if I make it. Let's say just on the ground like this. Anyone that is standing in it or touching it will be able to buy anything. But for the sake of creating a buying zone, I'm gonna create it quite large. And then we're gonna press Ctrl and T together to change the properties of this uh, block into funk underscore buy zone. We're gonna press apply, and now we need to do one thing. We're gonna change the team, and I'm gonna change the team to 
uh, to terrorist. So as a CT, I won't be able to buy. Um, yeah, so uh, if I change it to terrorist, CTs won't be able to buy. If I do set this to the default value, which is zero, no one will be able to buy. So that is something to have in mind. Uh, press apply. And this will automatically uh, deactivate after 45 seconds. So yeah. Next thing we're gonna add is something that changes what weapons players start with. So if I take it the entity tool again, click on the entity tool, click on the ground, we can double click this one to change this to game underscore player underscore equip. You can type in game and then play it and then you will see it in the menu. And you're gonna press apply. And you can see it's now just a little box, kind of. <coughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't really matter where you place it. Uh, yeah, so um, strip all weapons at first means that when players are getting equipped, they will lose all their default weapons. Default weapons is the knife and the certain pistol that CTs have and the certain pistol that terrorists have. Now there is a way to make so that terrorists get one set of weapons and CTs get one set of weapons. Although that is quite advanced and we will be covering that in another tutorial. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna take strip all weapons first. That means they will not have anything. They won't have anything now. If I just press apply now. Uh, they will actually start with no weapons, so that is some one, th one thing to have in mind. Um, yeah, but how do we make them start with a certain weapon? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is click on this button right here that turns off Smart Edit. So now we can put in our own key and our own value. Uh, so let's say I want to add... I need to add another weapon, uh, so... You need to type in the way, the key is the weapon, uh, weapon, and then underscore and the name of the weapon, so let's say AK-47 or Deagle or whatever. You can find the weapons in here if you uh, press W and then you have all the names of weapon. So we have Decoy, Elite, Famous, Galil, Glock and things like that. Now if I... Let's say, uh, wait, let's, let's tie, get the, let's get a decoy going. Whoops. Yeah, make sure not to change it. So yeah, we still have the game player equip. Uh, so if I type in here, weapon decoy, I just need to add value one, press add. Yeah, but that's it. Uh, next up, we can we can add another weapon like what the hell. Yeah, I'm, I don't I don't get what I don't get what's going on right now. Okay, there we go. So that's how you do it. You type in the things you want to add here. Weapon underscore the eagle. Value 1. Um, add. I wonder what the name of the knife is. Knife is. Let's look that up. I don't know if it's. Yeah, weapon knife. Okay. So you can just select this. Press Control and C together. And then. Change back to game player equip, and now we can add weapon I don't know, knife and one. If I do change this to another value like two, that means they will have two knives when they spawn, or not on them, but there will be another knife under them, kind of. Uh, because this web game player equip doesn't really give them weapons, but merely when you spawn you will have the weapons close to you, which means you will pick them up automatically. 
if I don't have a gameplay equip at all, you will still have the default weapons. So let's press apply and let's go into the map and let's see how this works with the terrorist spawn, with the CT spawn and everything. Here we are, I'm gonna pick terrorist. Uh, I died without be having anything to do, yeah, it was great. Okay, so as you can see, the I don't know what happened with that spawn point, but uh, as you can see, I spawn, I don't spawn up in the air or anything. I spawn on the ground, and as you can see, I spawn with the deagle, I spawn with the blue boy. And everything. Also, I can buy stuff. But if I change team, how do you change team in this game? There we go. If I change team to CT, I will not be able to buy. I I'm pressing B at the moment, and I'm not being able to buy anything at all. So yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial, guys, and see ya. Have fun, and. What the hell? OP bots.